Welcome to VG Bus. We're playing Jeopardy Second Edition. Oh no, it's gonna be Hasbro suck. again. Inner non active. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pyramids Fart which held wheat. Fart Tech Studio. Fart Tech. <laughs> and where's the man of the hour? Oh, there he there is. There he is. I love his leopard colored <laughs> handkerchief. It's clear. Oh, we actually that. have to. Yeah, we can draw something. I'm, I'm going to draw the uh, the VG Bus lamp. <laughs> <laughs> that is our logo. Oh, There's the yeah. shade. Oh, Alex does not approve. Alex is, is all business, and yet he's a moron. This is a bad shade. <laughs> we'll have the light rays coming down. We gotta put the couch in the corner. <laughs> there we go. There we go. This looked like my last meal at Adam's Mark Hotel. <laughs> it's just the one big yes, mess. Yes, it is! Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> it is yeah, beautiful. yeah, there's the gravy. Very, yeah. very dense. <laughs> I look like at Alex Trebek's picture on the I front of the that. game. Is it really that exciting, Alex? It's more exciting than my Adam's Mark meal. Mine came out of both ends. <laughs> the same way. And, and well, it looked better when it came out the front. Oh, <laughs> Television. Capes. The Capes. New York Times headline. Oh, that's those are great. Let's speak Australian, mate. Rock and pop. Player one, your turn. I have to go with my favorite category of all time, capes. <laughs> yes! This cape on a barrier island is the site of the John F. Kennedy Space Center. Cape Canaveral. Player one. You got it. You got it. Shut up, Alex. In 1620, the Pilgrims dropped anchor in Provincetown Harbor on this cape. Player three. Oh, regrettably, no. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> was it Kate Cod and... Uh, that would be my guess. Oh, oh shit. Played. Oh, we got oh. a lady. Prezies are nice to receive, because Prezies are these. Do you know Probably me? presents, right? Well done. I love to get a good Prezi. <laughs> on my birthday. Oh, oh, you're probably new. Oh yeah, yeah, Nick. Definitely. The one Milton Burrow signed a 30-year contract with this TV network at two hundred thousand dollars per annum. Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> man seen here. Shot to death in jail corridor by a Dallas citizen. Jack Ruby. Oh my god, I think I'm right. Oh, well, Oswald got shot, but Ruby right. did it. Player one. Oh no, you have to put Lee Harvey on. Patton Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> Patton Oswald. Got it. Yeah, Patton Oswald. <laughs> of undreamed of splendors was reported with the 1923 opening of this Egyptian king's inner tomb. Woo, oh, well, it must be covered in wheat. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. <laughs> Who is that, Ben Carson? That was Carson, yeah. Who said that the pyramids? Yeah, 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 they held wheat. Held grain. King Tut? Oh, yeah. Right you are. Oh yeah, then they said it was cursed or something because they all died. Or... News fit to print included the pardon of this president and Knievel safe as rocket fall. I'm gonna say evil, evil Knievel, Dick Nixon, <laughs> <laughs> tricky Dick. Definitely. I am not a crook. <laughs> I now resign as president. Nineteen <laughs> eighties. In nineteen eighty one, he won some respect and a Grammy. For his comedy album, No Respect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I forgot that. That's 
camera. That's it. Oh, that's right. They, said that, on, they no said that on Home Improvement, too. Of a steamroller, airplane, or two USCs, it was what the group Buffalo Springfield was named after. Every? Ooh. <laughs> that was a good one. Did he, Alex have a little bit of gas? Was. I'm gonna yeah, he guess did. two U.S. cities. He, he, he thought he had to go number two, but it was just gas. <laughs> Cheat a little bit, because I can't spell out two U.S. cities. I'm gonna go steamroll it. You're correct. Alright. He reached new heights with purple rain. Oh, no. Go ahead, ring him. I thought I did. Player three? What? That's it. She put the artist formerly known as Prince. She Player three. put the wow. whole thing in there. That's probably what That's Alex required. Three. Prince? Nope. Yeah. The <laughs> artist formerly known. In the 1980s, $10 million was spent to save this large California bird from extinction. Big bird? Player two? Oh, finally. Jeez. Ah, there we go. Yes, indeed. Jeez. Nothing me. Let's see, what would Alex hate? Rock and pop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In 1982, it was business as usual for this Who Can It Be Now group from Down Under. There too. They are asking for the group, right? Mm-hmm. Good answer, but sorry. That's wrong. <laughs> Fuck you, you Alex. AC DC. What about men without hair? Yeah. <laughs> Player three? Let's see if you like these categories in the double jeopardy. Memory card is not present. Neither is excitement. Mummy dearest. It's happy. Three letter words. <laughs> Mummy dearest. Approximate weights and measures. Oh boy. Oh, Americans are going to have trouble. <laughs> yeah, oh yes, big time. And let's take a look at our... Let's eat! As long as it's not an Adam's mark. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Or apple. You will lose weight because you have to shit it all out. <laughs> you should and puke. It's just the, the Olsen twins would love that. Let's give this a try, Alex. Let's go right for a thousand. A large, flightless Australian bird. Player one. Damn it! Emu. Yep. Not emo. <laughs> Those are annoying, whiny people. Yeah! <laughs> that wear black. I don't know if my button is working well. Oh, you gotta hit it at just the right time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. If you hit it before, Alex will give you a time. Um, so this is all Alex's fault. Yeah. You do this to the dog. Definitely. Just 15% of an iceberg left in a restaurant. No! I shouldn't have rang in. I was going to say Q, but that's four. Hmm. I'm going to say an ass. <laughs> oh, that's incorrect. <laughs> oh, oh Of course, lady. Of course she, she would likes take reading that. her Harlequin novel. An H.C. Anderson tale. It's also a game in which you may be it. Tag. Tag. Oh, because tag yeah. you're it. Yes, indeed. Your choice, player two. No, oh, they ch he changed backgrounds really quick. Why did you do that? Was he getting sick of the old one? Yes. For 600. Answer? Oh, I should have got the Goosebumps series. Take your, go for your daily dump, lady. Oh, Take geez. daily dump! I hope she gets this wrong, because she wagered a lot. No, it's the computer. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is bad. In 1994, the Royal Mummy Room in this Egyptian city was reopened after 13 years. I'll just say... Player one? Cairo.
Yes, indeed. Good. Take that I computer lady. <laughs> Psychic size between small and large. Oh, media. One. Damn it! <laughs> you do have to ring it right at the. Right at the. Did you try ringing it? Your... I did, yes! You can't be too early or Alex will penalize you. I rang it like right before you said oh. Got a special promotion, Rite Aid Pharmacies. <laughs> I know people who do their grocery shopping, man. It's really <laughs> that is, stupid. Yeah, that is stupid. What other test would there be? Well, isn't this M&M, &M, yeah. so it has to start with a... Uh... Oh, um... Mammogram. Yeah. That's right. Yes. I would have never thought you could do that. Yeah. Either. Let's eat. For $200. What do you want to eat, lady? Probably some stupid vegan it's dish. The <laughs> flavor of brown Betty. A serving a day might keep the doctor away. Apple. Player one. Early again. When is the right time, Alex? <laughs> Whenever he decides. <laughs> Player one, your turn. Of course, Alex. Like clams, corn can also be the basis of recipes for this thick, chunky soup. But you see, you, you rang in too early, that's why it had a delay. But he wanted to say it the New England way. Ciao. No, <laughs> you, can, you can eat a dick. <laughs> well, you don't do that regardless. No! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> in square. There we and go. And triangle. Exactly. Fruit or vegetable. It's the basis of Pomodoro and marinara sauces for pasta. Player one? Damn it! <laughs> oh, well, since it's Italian, what other kind of oil do they use? I didn't even bother. I didn't. I didn't even bother digging in. What is? What is the point? To a Thai, they're ba me. To a Filipino, <laughs> and to a Japanese, ramen. I'm gonna go noodles. Damn it! <laughs> Why even bother? Lit happy. I'm gonna leave that for the lady. <laughs> a little amount of brill cream that'll do ya. Oh, little dab will do ya. Player one. Once again, what is the point? Alex doesn't doesn't like my buzzer. In a 1995 autobiography, this star of Frasier told of his life so far. Star Frazier? Oh, yeah. Star three? Oh, no. Yes! Player two? And trying. Definitely. That brings us to the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's take a quick look at the scores. <laughs> what is he looking at? Three. Hang in there, player two. <laughs> Why does it no, make you me know, laugh? You know, Alex, it would have been more right, if you didn't clog up my butt. The final Jeopardy category is Brothers. Mm hmm. The other players could please turn away while player two. Makes okay, three. I gotta look away. The other players could please turn away while player three makes the wager. I want to see what she's wagering. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Now, if the other players would please turn away. While player one makes their wager? Well, you turn away too, Alex. I see you're looking. <laughs> the other players could please turn away now. While player two writes in the question. Okay, you gotta write it in and I have to look away. Oh, great. Is it tough? Player two. I don't know it. I said I'm done, Alex. Player three. Good, she's got all question marks. If the other players could please turn away while player one writes in their question. An empire began when Tom and Louis Borders opened this type of store in Ann Arbor, Michigan. A player one. Board, but oh, the board, the bookstore. Borders bookstore. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, that's right. And they're not in business anymore. No, ah. yeah. <laughs>
there were other brothers that came up with mini balls, and that's what I put at first. I never, I forgot about Borders Bookstore. Oh no! Is it, now I get, well, I gotta put it in the right way that he wants. There we go. Yeah. Listen yeah, that, that is music. that is the correct answer. I forgot all about. I forgot about borders. All right, let's see how everyone did. Very forgettable. Layer two. Everything was so expensive in there. Sorry, that's incorrect. Brothers this did make you. mini malls, and that's what I thought it was. Layer three. Your question. I don't think I waged you that much. An internet cafe. I didn't wager that much. Your question? That's right. And your wager was? Wow, I can't believe I forgot about more. Yes. Well, Nicole from the last game would say, Congratulations That's great, but you can't spend it because it's not real money. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I got $10,600. That's a lot of video games for VG Bucks. I'm just happy I beat the bitch. Thank you so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. I know of every card is not present. What would I say? Well, you can save your stats and <laughs> okay. your career statistics. Okay, yes. Behind the scenes. Somebody I know wants to see Alex in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah, oh yes. Well, he's not getting dressed. He's taking off all his clothes. I came to the United States in 1973 to host a show called Wizard of Oz. And it's Canadian, that's right. Gainfully employed most of the time. Why are they sure questions? Because the long one's confusing. I had hosted Wheel of Fortune for a period of one week. <laughs> to replace an ailing Chuck Woolery, who was the regular host at that time. And I did that for the Merv Griffin people. And I guess they remembered me, and when they brought back Jeopardy! into syndication in 1984, they called me and said, look, we're going to bring back this old game show called Jeopardy! Would you like to host it? And I said, yeah, sure, it's a great show. Oh, wow. Great, Alex. Let's go to the control room. You know what and I like, to too? The director. He, he made it sound like that coming over from Canada was like this big, I mean, I huge show, deal. Uh, so long ago, I was young when I started this on this show, and that was 1984, the first year I was the booth AD, and I edited the first season. And then I went back to Merv Griffin's show, who created it, for a year. And then 1986 came back here permanent in 1991, I think. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They really got boring people for this. I mean, Alex probably couldn't do Wheel of Fortune because he was just a dick. <laughs> he was just a boring dick. I know, they dick. got Chuck Woolery instead. <laughs> Could you just imagine? Spin the wheel. Would you like to buy a vowel? Well, what we do is we try to go on the road a lot. Oh, God. We don't want people to have to come to LA just to take the test because roughly only about 10 to 15 percent of the people in a room of approximately 75 pass the test. So we try to get to all different areas. They don't pass you. They're not smart LA enough, lady. Coming to LA. Well, she wins fashion contest, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that, that brown She's, shirt. Just yeah, really. LLB. Yeah. Let's uh, talk to the executive producer, no, Gary delivery, Freeman. Delivery from LLB. The core of Jeopardy is the writing. And fortunately, I have... I thought it was Alex Trebek. Head writers. <laughs> oh, yes. Wonderful staff of writers and researchers. College is bald head. <laughs> so shiny. Oh, it is. I wonder what kind of wax he uses. Of the show, which is the game material itself. I love the glasses. The show is just as exciting as the producers, directors, and writers. Here's some writers. You have to be well-rounded. You have to be interested in a, a wide variety of things. And, uh, everything from history to sports to you know, what's on today, the cover of today's L.A. Times. Thanks for that. I met some of the celebrities, including Clint Eastwood. Okay, breathe. <laughs> okay, Bree. You probably forgot how. <laughs> hey, it's Johnny Gilbert, the announcer. Well, uh, oh, 
God. It started uh, a long time ago when I was about 17. Started out as a uh, singer, professional singer, and traveled for years with that. Uh, then I did a stint in the Army uh, in special services, and uh, that was also in show business. What did you sing, uh, uh, Bobby Benton? In 1960, <laughs> in television ever since. Okay, that's it. Well, I couldn't find a, a review by GameSpot, but someone on Game FAQs did review it. This Just is Jeopardy. Uh, no, it's review by <laughs> Gruel. His oh God! Gruel. Reviewed in the year 2000. Here's what Gruel has to say. The cover says over 4,200 new answers. I just feel sorry for poor Johnny Gilbert, who has to read every one of them. Why do you feel We're already bad off for, to a really bad start. Why do you feel bad for people that are making millions of dollars probably to, to read things off? Okay, another internet fool. <laughs> Just he's, look at his name. He's probably related to Nicole. The sequel to the original Jeopardy on the PlayStation where Alex Trebek and Johnny Gilbert are back with more answers and questions than ever. Check out the intro of my review for the first Jeopardy on the PlayStation to get the whole rundown on how the answers and questions work in the game. Will this game be better than the original? Let's get on to the review and find out. Here's what he has to say about the graphics. You got a new board interface, which is just slightly different from the first game. Graphics. What the? I know. Why would you talk so about important graphics? Oh. For this kind of game. Well, okay, we're in park ranger mode. But the highlighted category is bigger than the rest of the categories. The part of the game where you enter your question is designed differently too. Where there are nine row rows, each containing four letter and or numerical characters. This way makes it easier and faster to type out your question. The full motion videos of Alex Trebek guiding you through the game are much bigger and look way better. Is that important? And what is he doing? How is he guiding you? <laughs> I know, he's just saying yes. Yeah. Regrettably no. Yeah. <laughs> it's sorry. your turn, player three. Or sorry, no. <laughs> video daily doubles are back as well with a little full motion video clips of an answer to help you get it right. That's surprising. A big key part of the show is another key part of the game. Wow, how do, these, so. how do these people have their jobs? <laughs> I mean, they make me mad that they're making money off of stating the stupidest stuff. Well, this is this is game FAQs. I think Gruel probably works at a Sunoco or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or, or probably like, like a, a mobile. Yeah, he's doing this for fun. <laughs> I would hope so. Well, he's in between um, milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> Milkshakes, and he's also getting cans of snuff and um, chew for okay. Susu Bear to heart. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. The biggest addition in the graphics department is the extra full motion interviews with Alex Trebek, Johnny Gilbert, plus additional makers of the game and the television show. And boy, are they boring. Yeah, right. And they're cut up by question, too. Which is kind of annoying. Why is he bringing rather... up the graphics again? <laughs> you can unlock more interviews by obtaining higher winnings. Looking forward to that. That's what this guy looks forward to all day. Is he wants to unlock <laughs> interviews. That's his gold chart. He has a gold chart in his room. And it's all unlocking the interviews. <laughs> it is. Can't wait to unlock the interview of the writer. Where he says... Well, you have to be well-rounded. <laughs> Player three was my favorite contestant. <laughs> of course. <laughs> she was the most boring. <laughs> Still absent is the contestants in front of the podium and the missing television studio audience. Do you really want to see the audience? Not even though these aren't those big of a deal, but it would add a lot to the presentation. How much would it add, Gruel? Really? <laughs> Not that much. That was funny seeing the little funny looking guy in the NES version pointing oh, his finger. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I know the answer. Yeah! I'm ringing in, even though I don't know it. Joke's on you! <laughs> <laughs> Joke's Phoenician on. City? 
Det Ingl. <laughs> what do you mean wrong? <laughs> Once again, I don't know the answer. I just ran in and you called on me. <laughs> Jokes on Jokes you. Jokes on you. This is what I did all through school. Jokes on you and on my teachers. Okay, Gruel is going on to the sound next. Oh my god! Why does he go through graphics and sound before gameplay? I'll never know. The classic Jeopardy tune is still here. Did you hear it? Uh, no, it I don't think I did. Oh, I heard it a little corny. bit. But... Very corny instrumentation. <laughs> Alex Trebek throws in even more ways of saying you're correct, incorrect. What? And ways to introduce you into Jeopardy, Double Jeopardy, and Final Jeopardy. And even though they may get repetitive after a while, they never get boring to me. Oh. Because they add to the game's presentation and gameplay so much. It isn't that big of a deal. Also, Johnny Gilbert took his time to record 4,200 answers to the game, all which are new, too. Now, that's a lot of time and dedication to this game, in my opinion. He got paid, you fool. Oh, no, he did it for non-profit. You know, you know how these, how these uh, gamer reviews are, are wearing their park ranger hats and their badges. They do nothing for profit. Can you imagine Johnny Gilbert? I mean, he probably... How much money did he make at the time? Who knows? Yeah, right. Maybe more on this than he did in the show. That, that's a possibility. Just look at Madden. What does he do with the games? Oh, but he gets like... a cut. And to spice up the game some too, the computer opponents actually talk in a few variations in which they choose an answer by saying, I'll take World War II for 500, Alex. Oh, How about they... Rock and Pop for 200? The sound is just amazing in this game. What? Where do you get the sound from? And maybe the game's strongest point. Now he's on to gameplay. We all know how Jeopardy works now. <laughs> What we all hell? know how Jeopardy works now. Wow, Gruel. Nice writing. To get an in-depth look at how it works, for the few of you who don't know, check out my review. Yeah, okay, we, we know. I'm, I'm not going to read any more of this. <laughs> the final ratings rundown. Graphics, 9.0 out of 10. For Jeopardy. Sound, 9.6. Who get the sound? Oh my god. Gameplay, 9.3. Yes, for Jeopardy, that's really hard to do. Replay value, 9.5. Replay value. And for Gruel, his overall rating is a 9.3. That's great, Gruel. Your points are stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. we'll give this a 7.5. Because they didn't get anything major wrong. I did enjoy laughing at Alex. <laughs> I did too. But I did take some points off for wasting space on those interviews. <laughs> yes, especially Gilbert. So I'll, I'll give it a 7.7. 7. Oh, let's go over the features. Backstage video clips with naked Alex and interviews. Play ASIC Solo Tournament of Champions. Fun for one to three players. Just be careful on the ring-ins. Unlock... Oh, here we go with the bonus interviews with host Alex Trebek. Do you really want to see any more of this guy? Very exciting back. Well, folks, if you played this game, leave your comments. And please subscribe.